Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time at the collector. I hope you're going good. We've been busy. We've got more nice stuff. World War One dog tag in amongst there with some other little bits. This is a nice old trade token. Lovely gold ring with the black opal. Got some beautiful little miniature perfume bottles. Little soft toy lammy. He's pretty cool. The Chinz little Chinzano um, little place sort of stand there with the reserved little card in it. Museum of Modern Art brooch there of like a dragon, water dragon or something from the 1980s. Got some more uh, membership medallions, I think, from Essendon Cricket Club. Necklaces, some lovely silver, glass beads, some nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet. And we've got some cool stuff. Speaking of cool stuff, boof. Yogi Bear Lamp. It's pretty damn cool with the original paper shade or cardboard shade. It's in really good condition. There's no damage or anything. He is ace. He's lot number four and he's also the what's it worth this week. As well as lot number two. Lovely Art Deco Loy Luca. You can see it's signed there. Beautiful Art Deco light shade. French. Another really nice Art Deco light shade. Really nice display cabinet. Hexagonal. You can walk all the way around it. Shelves are not adjustable, but each of the shelves, if you can see, got lights underneath. It's all lockable with the key. Lovely little Victorian display cabinet. Once again, in really good condition. You just see that lining's coming off the back there. But a lovely little bit. Victorian style display cabinet again. With the side, op side opening doors. All adjustable shelves mirrored back. Really nice and clean. A lovely Art Deco Chrome and Bakelite reading lamp. Big Indian tanker. Some cast iron lattice. Some pretty cool 1989 and 1990 Russian sort of propaganda -y type posters. Navy, Army. Bit of cosmonaut action as well. If I can get there. There we go. It's pretty cool. There's better images on the website. You've got Mother Russia with the world on her shoulders. Other sort of, you know, 1990 reproductions of World War I and World War II. Russian posters. Looks like some of them you can sort of cut out and things like that. What else have we got? Some guitars. All the kitchen canisters and their contents. <laughs> Doll's house with all furniture. Some, I think these are English number plates. Oh, there you go. London. What else have we got? Footy ephemera. Some nice old light fittings and light shades and things. Book goes in that lot. A lovely Edwardian mahogany chest of drawers. And some cool old comic books. Trading cards. Some Smurfs, jewellery, footy gear. Nice big Chippendale style eight piece dining suite, extension table, six chairs, and the matching sideboard. This is pretty amazing as well. This lamp with all the crystal lusters hanging down. One of the two of them have got a little bit of damage, you can see. Really nice big outdoor table and sort of bench seats, which is signed to the underside of the table and dated 1976. Nice little leather office chair with a tall brass lamp. It's quite big. Rocking horse is a ripper. Some more doll's houses. This is a nice lot of ephemera. Western Mail Annual 55 Women's Days and then old newspapers and stuff. There's more gear down the back. Oh, we've got a little pair of uh, Bang & Olufsen speakers here. Another pair here of KLH speakers that need to be reconed, I think, from memory. But the little Bang & Olufsen's are rippers. These big Bang & Olufsen's are rippers as well on their pedestal bases. And those Bang & Olufsen red lines. There you go, you can see the little red line around them. They're rippers on their little stands again. Light up globe of the world in its original little teak frame. Pretty cool. The Plasterware Santa Maria fire screen. These are great. All these model kits. Paper model kits. Check this guy out. 
and aeroplanes and cars. There you go. Revolvers and Gatling guns. All made out of paper. Really cool. Tonka toys, kids' books, Lassie. What else have we got? Surgical stuff, Victorian, and I think that's a Northern Territory number plate. American number plates, wrestlers, scales, weights. These are all footy posters and grand final records, I think from the 70s through to 2000 and something. Nice big collection of glass, china and other gear. Mount Kosciuszko little advertising poster. A pair of Alan Mittelman watercolours. Louis Kahan etching. This is a nice bit. Mortimer Menpes, M-E-N-P-E-S. Well, nice little etching, 1881. Australian artist expat. Gets overlooked a bit. This guy's a gun. This is a nice little bit. Big Leon Hansen, talking about guns. He was a champ. Max Sherlock, it's really nice there with the sort of Ibis in flight. Little Peter Caddy gouaches are quite nice. Two more Alan Mittelmans. Some cool kitchen canisters. Ice Crusher. Some nice woodblock, Japanese woodblock prints. These are pretty early. Triptych. But they are in quite poor condition. You can see all the bloody foxing all over them. A little bit of damage here and there. I've actually, they're mounted on board, which is where their bloody foxing's coming from. But I've actually just got it sitting loose on top of the mount. This is a nice Hokusai. Can't remember who this is, but the Hokusai's in good condition. This one's got a little bit of damage and it's going to need a clean. And then there's these three pillar woodblock prints as well. Once again, a little bit of damage and they'll need a bit of a tidy up. But these are early. Uh, 18th century, I'm pretty sure. Nice big box of Disney comics. Nice big box of Phantom comics. Number 496 sort of onwards. These are fantastic. The Huckleberry Hound trays. There you go. Huckleberry Hound. Quick draw your TV friends. There's two of them. Traces, the portfolio of unframed um, artworks or works on paper by Australian artist Jörg Schmeisser, Udo Selbach, and I think there's 12 other artists in amongst. There's 14 prints in there. Hornby O'Gage, Matchbox Dinkies, Models of Yesteryear, a couple of nice big 1970s ice buckets, little Matchbox die casts, two more. Swan Lager Mirror is pretty cool. Cop Car, 118 scale, two little felt paintings. This is all Lassie ephemera. These look to be LTP 1949. They've got little sort of proofs and stuff where someone's left a full stop, up, full stop off and things like that. So they're a little bit interesting. There's also some little sort of photo, fan photos and movie stills and stuff like that as well. Tintin Comics. Quick draw and Huckleberry Hound money boxes. Huck's got a little bit of damage on his hat, but he's still pretty cool. Big Chinese pot, a couple of nice extinguishers, Capa de Monte lamp, I like this big bucket, sort of coopered, and someone's had a little put a shoe thing on the top, I don't think that's original, but it's really nice the way the lid's three quarter open, it's like a slops bucket or something, some more Lassie gear, this is all uh, gauge blocks, <clears throat> and testing machine, dump level, and some other instrument pottery and glass matchboxes kind of like these blue and white cabinet plates a little bit different german we think more matchboxes a couple of nice tin toys chinese and japanese pluto and his pals some cool old school hats including oakley technical school mixed lot of comics trading cards it's a great collection of girl guide stuff including a 1961 Bobber Job decal. What else have we got? Some tools. They go down there with that lot. Nice little drawings, more matchbox, a couple of ST Gill engravings. I really like this sort of Japanese cash box or lockable box. You've got some more Lassie, Lassie stuff down the back, including the three-dimensional clock. Great little retro 50s clock. Really cool font on the numbers. 
More ST girls. This is a great lot, this. The Grimwades um, Huckleberry Hound and all the Hanna-Barbera cartoon guys all on the dinner set. Australian. This is an interesting bit. The Discus Thrower. Northcote Jubilee. Little booklet or leaflet there from 19... Is that from? 1933 or something? Uh, nice inlaid box. This land is auriferous. Art Deco. Villaroy and Bock. Nice big Chinese littered jar. They're quite nice, the pastel colours. A couple of little bunnies. They look like Silvac, but they're not, we don't think. They remind me of Huntley. But we couldn't find Huntley making these either. But they're just little cuties. This is an unusual bit. Old candlestick phone with the push button dial. I don't, know if that's, I don't know if they're around very often. That's just a cool thing. Looks to be all original. Some handmade craft. Beautiful big poker work sewing box with the gum nut and gum leaves around the corners. Some pinup girl stuff. Silvac gnome. I like this 1980s Rosenthal Studio line ceramics. It's very good quality. Little etching there of Pluto, bit of Gouda. These are nice, the old Western Mail annuals from the 1940s. All in original condition, fantastic colourful covers. Really like this one. Um, the little French book there on the nude. Nice unusual bit of Gouda. This is a nice little bit, the little Astor radio box. Just a nice little thing made, it's got all the details. Goodwill Products Australia Melbourne. A couple of nice bits of masons. This is a great little brush catalogue from 1928. All the different kind of paint brushes and things like that you can buy from this German company. Expandable faux tortoiseshell. This is a great little trinket box um, from TAA. Dedicated to Roy Sexton. Contribution development of the OH division, TAA 19. 66 to 77 or something. It's just lovely with that little laminate TAA emblem under the lid. Funnily enough, there's a TAA vinyl travel bag. I've got some nice stuff up the top shelf. Uh, Boston sandwich or something, I think, is the American glass perfume bottle. A nice bit of signed art glass. We just haven't been able to figure out the signature. A bit of glass is unsigned. Nice big oriental charger. Nice hand-painted oriental vase. Details on the back, it's signed underneath as well. Nice little perfume bottle, another nice little one. I really like these scales. Can't recall seeing one with a little sort of girl trapeze artist sort of hanging off one side. It's got all the original weights and stuff like that in the drawer. Amanda Lowen or Lowell or something, little Australian art glass, Scandinavian glass, really nice shape and design and stuff. How's that for a bloody Factice perfume bottle? Uh, Pauline Delaney, Australian art glass over the back, Victorian. It's the stopper is stuck though. You watch it come out now. <laughs> this is a lovely bit of Victorian glass, and these are really nice. These the Art Deco Dutch little cat pewter bookends. They are signed with the monogram here. I just can't remember off the top of my head, but it, the artist is in the catalog description. Yeah, that'll do, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't care if you did or if you didn't. Hopefully you're going all right, though. See you on Thursday night.